to start off on the basic backhand throw. We're going to go over the type of grips, what uh, kind of arm motion we're looking for, and also the footwork that's included in throwing a good backhand. Dealing with a backhand grip, what you want to do is you want to start off with your left hand holding the disc, and you want to really push your palm into the disc. Some people like to grip it with their fingertips and not really have their hand on it. You really want your palm pushed up against the disc. Okay. The first thing we're going to learn is the thumb. There's a nice little ring on most discs here. Your thumb really wants to be resting on that ring. Okay. Some people have their thumb up here. Some people move their thumb down here. You really want the thumb resting right on the ring here. Okay. The next thing we're going to talk about is where the index finger is. Now, a lot of you guys I've seen like to put the index finger on the rim of the disc. Okay, and that kind of makes it feel like it's sturdy and stable in your hand. The problem with that is it's going to decrease the amount of spin you can get on the disc. You really want to slide that index finger under the rim in here somewhere. Okay. Now, also, if you can see, my middle finger is pushed towards the middle of the disc. Okay. I don't want all my fingers tightened in here like this, and I don't want them all spread out. I want my index finger on the rim, I want my middle finger pushing towards the middle of the disc, and my pinky and ring finger are tied against the rim. So before we go and show you the full arm motion of a backhand, we're going to break it down to the very basics of wrist motion. Okay? The very simple wrist motion is really key to being able to throw a great backhand. And to do that, once you have your grip in a position where you're comfortable with, what you want to do is you want to stand here, have a partner about 10 yards away from you, stand here with your left and right arm on the disc, release your left arm from it, cock your wrist into your body, don't cock it into your elbow, just cock your wrist back into your body, and then you're going to move forward with your arm, and at the same time you're going to snap with the disc. So forward and snap. Forward and snap. Okay, so now we're going to go into the full motion of the backhand. We're going to split up into two parts. The first part, we're just going to talk about what is going on in the upper body. Once you have your wrist snapped down to where you're throwing 10 yards and you're not throwing it with any wobble in the disc and it's firm and stable throughout the fly, uh, full flight motion, you can work on the full motion of the backhand. From here, you want to have the disc to where you're creating a 90 degree angle with your elbow here. And what you're going to do is the first thing is you're going to turn the shoulders. You're going to twist your shoulders here. Rotate the shoulders to where you're facing. Your shoulders are now in a line to where you're trying to throw. The disc should not roll up into your elbow. A lot of people like to roll the disc up into your elbow like this. You don't want to do that. Keep it out here at a 90 degree angle. And then you're going to lead with your elbow. Lead with the back of your hand. And the last step, you're going to snap with the wrist. And it should be a fluid motion from here to here. So I'm going to turn shoulders. Lead with the elbow, snap the wrist. Okay, so for the second part, we're going to talk about the lower body. And with the backhand, it's very similar if you play golf. About when you're playing golf, you really want to get off the right side of your body. When you come through the ball, you want to start getting off the right side of your body to get that extra power. And the backhand is the same way, except you're going to get off your left side. So when you step out here, you really want to get your hips and your legs off the left side of your body. You don't want to throw a backhand and stand here like this. You really want to get off, your toes should be coming off the, not off the ground, but your toes should be coming up to here. You're really twisting your body to where you're finishing with your stomach basically facing your target. Okay, so now that we know what we're doing with the upper body and the lower body, we're going to put it all together to show you what it looks like when we have everything complete. Um, so we're going to start again, always start facing your target, okay, don't get in the habit, you know, you want to get in the habit of actually having to come over and pivot as you throw the backhand. So, upper body, turn the shoulders, lower body, turn the hips, and then we're all releasing all together in the one fluid motion. The backhand should be very, very fluid, okay, so here, we're turning over, come through, and release. Do another one. A lot of wrist snap at the very end to make sure that the disc is going to fly through the air.